So the matching process is going to be affected, of course, by having um, public employment. Um, but we are going to try to make um, the public sector as similar to the private sector as possible to simplify the analysis. So uh, you remember that in the basic model, V is the number of vacancies that are posted by firm. So now what we are going to assume is that V is the number of vacancies from firms plus the number of vacancies um, from the government. So what that means is that um, if the government wants to hire a worker, um, it also needs to post vacancies, exactly like um, a private firm. And in fact, in practice, that's what the government does. Um, there is a website um, that, re that lists all the vacancies that are posted, um, at least by the, you know, by the federal government and then state governments at the same, at the same process. So that means that this um, matching process that we've described for private firm, it also applies um, to the government. So the government is just, if you want, it's, exact, it's a firm like, another, like uh, any other. If you want workers, it has to post vacancies and then you know, the uh, workers are going to be interviewed um, and then you know, the best workers will be picked for the job and you, know, you also have recruiters that work for the government and so on and so forth. So when we talk about V, uh, the total number of vacancies, it's going to be both private and public vacancies. Okay, um, so that's one thing, and, and of course you know the tightness, theta, which is V over U, the V, you know, is just the total number of vacancies uh, that are posted both in the private and the public sector. So this, <coughs> basically it's as if, uh, you know, the labor market, the labor market encompasses both private firms and the government. It's just a giant labor market that subsumes uh, both the pri you know both public workers and uh, private workers. So that's kind of I guess the key idea that um, that public workers and private workers are just part of one aggregate labor market. Um, So here we, uh, we won't have separated um, labor markets. And um, so um, it means that when pe people apply for jobs, they apply for public jobs, they apply for private jobs, you know. And I think the easiest way to think about it is really to think of the government as just another firm. It's a big firm, of course, because as we said, 17% of all workers um, work for the government. But it's a firm nevertheless, and it's subject to exactly the same matching process. Okay, so V will denote uh, vacancies both from firm and from the government. Uh, something else is that uh, the job separation rate will assume that it's also the same uh, in private firms and in the government. The job separation rate applies both to um, private firms and the government. Okay, um, and that actually is a slight simplification. In reality, the job separation rate is um, slightly higher in private firms than in the government. That is, jobs tend to, task to uh, last longer in the government. Jobs tend to be more safe, uh, stable in the uh, public sector. Uh, okay, so if you want it to be super accurate, you know, it would make sense to have different separation rates. And here we're going to abstract from that and just assume one uh, separation rate. But it's good to know that you have some stability that comes with working in the, in the government in, in practice. Okay. Um, so that's what we have. So because People search for jobs both in the private and the public sector because 
both firms and the government post vacancies and all these vacancies compete with each other, you know, there'll still only be one matching function that gives the total amount of matches on the labor market. Uh, so there is no like separate matching function for the private sector and the public sector. So the matching function M of UV, <coughs> it gives a number of matches on the aggregate Uh, labor market. Okay, so that means it gives a total number of matches included. <coughs> uh, so both people who work for firms plus the government plus uh, the government. So we we'll have one matching function that gives all the matches on the aggregate labor market. And of course, um, for this to work, there are two things that are important. Um, the first is that on the unemployment side, workers, they apply um, indiscriminately to public and private sector jobs. So workers, they see a bunch of vacancies, some are from private um, jobs, some are for public jobs, and they just um, you know, apply to all that without dis you know, distinguishing between them. Um, which, you know, here makes sense to assume that the jobs are the same, you know, they have the same um, expected duration, the same separation rate, um, you know, we can um, assume that the wages are the same, that they are really comparable jobs. And so workers, they do not discriminate here. Um, so just knowing the total number of vacancies and the total number of, the total number of vacancies, you know, is, is, uh, is enough to know the matches that are going to be produced. Um, if workers apply differently to private vacancies and public vacancies, then you know presumably the matching function will need to involve the number of private vacancies and the number of public vacancies. But here we'll assume that they apply um, indiscriminately um, to public and private jobs. So that um, you know, just having the total number of unemployed workers um, and total number of vacancies um, will be um, will be enough to get the number of matches. Um, on the on the vacancy side, it's the same. You know, we have to assume that uh, the government and um, private firms. You know, the recruit worker. Um, indiscriminately. And so, you know, if workers and vacancies, if everybody is indiscriminate, then it doesn't matter whether you're public vacancy, private vacancy, whether you're a worker, you know, maybe worked in the past for the government or not, uh, or worked in the past in the private sector or not. Um, or wants to work one way or the other, you know. Now the only thing that matters in the matching function is just the total number of unemployed, total number of vacancies, because we assume that there is no discrimination whatsoever.